Hello. What up guys and welcome back to another one. Today we're opening the video a little bit differently. Today boys and the reason why is because there are five of us today and we just got done setting 110, 120 roughly. Definitely over a hundred dozen dive bomb decoys out here. All uh, snow socks, Canada Silos, Canada socks. Check this bad boy out. Here's the trucks giving us a little bit of light kind of at the back of it and in front there is just nothing but Canada's. So we got an awesome wind today. It's out of the southwest running like 11 to 15 mile an hour. So these socks as you can tell are just bebopping and loving it. But if you haven't seen the new olive thermal ducks hoodie it's thick and it's warm. We have the tan one that I showed you guys. This is the olive one. So if you guys haven't checked these bad boys out you ought to. But it is like 15 minutes till shooting light uh, I'm gonna pull the truck out, gonna get sat down. Brad from Ducks is still in town, so this is uh, kind of our big hunt of the week while he's in. So, gonna park the trucks and we'll pop you back on. Oh, we are laid down, and look at that saucy white hoodie. Haven't got to wear it many times this year, but today's a special one here because we are expecting the green heads as well. So we have the uh, spinners out front, right at the front edge of the deeks. Alright, so check it out. Here's the foot of the spread. We got them pretty tight. We could actually loosen it up just a bit. I tried to set it a lot looser, but here's the foot of it here. This is where they should be doing it dirty, right here in this little bitty indention. That's all we have. And you can, as you can tell, they are a little tighter than I'd like. But this is the 110 dozen, all of them, that came out of my truck bed. If you want to know why Bobby is running 110 dozen spreads, it's because I can fit them in my truck bed. Dive bomb decoys, you can fit them in your, in your truck bed with a topper. So if that ain't awesome, I don't know what is. And there's five of us today. We got it up in about eh, 45 minutes to an hour is what it took to sit. So not too bad. We're going to get sit down and the next shot should be some birds dying. Keep going. Keep going. The flag broke. What a piece of crap flag. Keep going, this flag broke again. What a piece of crap. What a shit show. He should go down. He's down. Flag broke three times, dude. It came apart. I had another shell, didn't I? Bros. That was awesome. Give me some. Boy. We worked the dog piss out of them, dude. Dude, I got splattered with blood. Look at that. Let's go. Dude, we're coming back. The video's running for four minutes, and I probably won't cut a single part of that. If you like that, give me a big old thumbs up. Hey, look. Look at the big ball. Holy smokes. That was. Look at the single dumping on your on your face here. That was incredible. My camera is literally soaked in blood. We got blood everywhere. I don't know how we got splattered by blood so badly. We got a speck. What, what'd we kill? Five? Five. Killed five. Dude. Worked them hard, dude. Oh my Worked god. Worked them oh my god. so <laughs> hard. Look at this. We are drenched in blood. Look at his gun. Dude, look at them all coming. Look at them all coming up high. This Jeez. is the Lester's that I've been wanting right here, boys. Bobby, Woo! Behind you up high. Go 
Blow hard, blow your call, blow your call. <laughs> blow your call. Mason, where's your call? <laughs> fun we just worked the There's dog living poop way. out of him worked him hard hard oh, that was fun that was fun oh my god yes that was fun <laughs> my jaws like oh boy oh man they are locked without calling we have birds locked yeah right here dumping oh they're not dumping yet they were <laughs> so uh we have been calling our butts off we're gonna take a break back off call and see if it does anything uh what was it the second group right the big big group yeah they did it dirty dirty yeah they did it on us so they went feet down they started to there was like a group of what 10 yeah. to the right side and we passed on them yeah. because there was a ton more coming and the reason we passed is, I hope you guys seen it on the camera, Brad was actually filming on that set. So, shout out to Brad Wick over here. If you haven't followed Brad M. Schaefer on Instagram, he, he is in charge of the Ducks Instagram. He's the man behind the, behind the lens most of the time. Uh, he was running the camera, so, uh, yeah, that was insane. We had just block after block after block, stack after stack was coming with him. So, we passed on him, and we worked our butts off after that. We, my jaw still hurts. We worked our butts off and they came back around, made a big old loop. It was about the best shot, put it that way. Not the best one we could have done. My, my voice is about gone, my throat's gone. This is awesome. This is what, it, this is what it's about right here, boys. <laughs> Shoot the ducks, boys. <laughs> kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Yeah, he's down, he's down. Nice. Watch where that green goes. <laughs> nice, boys. Hey, did you see the front two, boys? This front group, me and him, went bleh and just destroyed the front two. Oh, if you're liking the video again, give your boy a big old thumbs up. You know it helps. And if you haven't checked out them barrel stickers, she hot still. Oh, they've gotten a lot closer. Look at the ones off to the bottom right, dude. Look at that. So we've backed off the calling. Um, I don't know. Maybe they don't like it. They're just kind of skittish to it. Don't know. Just trying something different. Like I always say, if something ain't working, try something new. Doesn't matter what you do. Just try something new. So that's what we're doing. And. This is a big group of birds here. We found the lessers. This is what, I've, what I have been searching for. So I'm like, I don't know, an hour and a half north of where I live and uh, finally found the lessers here. Let me tell you, it is awesome. 
Smash the two. Shoot the two. One down. Oh, I had one show on my gun. What the frick? Boom! <laughs> there he is. Bam, right there. Well, got one down. They were bigger birds there. How far out was it? Uh, 60 yards? Yep, 60 yards right there. Northwest. 60 yards north well, not a bad shoot there, boys. Two, two birds. They were low. Might as well try and killed one. Yeehaw! <laughs> Nice calling, brother. We got them right there, boys. Is one of the right two? Uh, I think I did, I but I think that they're already dead before I pulled the trigger. <laughs> Woo! That was beautiful, boys. Oh, man. Dude, I, I went from doing all the lesser stuff to just... <laughs> That's all... Yeah, they, they like that. That's exactly what I was doing. <laughs> Man, they ate it up. Those two, that's what we want. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. If we can get doubles like that. But uh, that was awesome. Me and Chase really clucked them right in there. Kept them coming. Hook, line, and sinker took the bait. I'm sure you are. Nice. Awesome. Good shooting, boy. Good shooting. <laughs> Uh, awesome morning. We worked some very, very, very big, big, big groups of birds. Uh, got them close. Uh, the first two groups that came, as you've seen, they, they did it really good. The second group, we worked extra hard. Took a first pass on, which really scared me. I didn't know if they were going to make it another round because they did do pretty good, but they did extra, extra juicy the second time around. I'm glad we waited. So, uh, awesome hunt so far. I'm sure we're going to wrap it up here soon. We'll probably BS for a little bit shoot the crap and slowly start to pick up within the next i don't know hour well we bs for long enough we've been taking pictures bs and you know how it goes the end of a decent pretty decent good old hunt honestly that's more than decent i can't even call it decent i gotta call it a good one it was only five of us today and check out what we did here oh yeah not too shabby not too shabby right there but Five of us, one, two, three, four, and your boy. But we're gonna finish picking up. I think we already have about half of it done. So uh, yeah, 50 more dozen to go. We'll pull the trucks out here. When I get it all loaded, I'll fire the camera back up and show you how we load this thing up. It's a, uh, it is an art. It's an art form trying to get it all in in that topper. 110, 120 dozen is what it is. Cannot believe it fits in the bed of my truck in a topper. Un honestly, that's unreal. Yeah, everybody's out here gabbing, shooting the BS, telling lies. You out here telling lies, boy? Just look at that. 100 dozen in the bed of the truck. 110, 120 something around there. I don't know the exact number, but that's insane right there. That is what you call how you get it done in style right there in the old grand granddaddy wagon. Well, I am back home finally. What a drive. Hour and a half drive one way. It's always worth it though. Good hunts like that. Good, hard, just working birds. We had to work those birds hard. I mean, that's the hardest I've been able to work birds and it actually work out all season. A lot of times if they haven't just given it up, they won't give it up at all that whole hunt. As you can tell, the season's ramping up here. I've been reading some comments down below of a lot of people like, man, what's wrong, Bob? Last year you had a lot more bigger, better, you know, more pile, bigger pile hunts. Well, what happened, I believe, is just the early push. A lot of you know, across the Midwest, we got a ton of ice and snow extremely early. An extreme long story short, my belief is that it was just that, a huge early push. So for one, birds have gotten stale. We haven't had a big, big, big swath of cold weather roll through to bring in new birds. And just the amount of birds that shoved early was enormous. But now, we have uh, my area, we've lost the snows. The snows are finally gone for a minute because those dang things were messing up the hunts. Now the birds, as you can see, are starting to do what they usually do. 
The hunts that are coming, I can tell you, are awesome. So just be expecting some awesome, awesome duck and goose hunting. But like always, if you liked this video, please give your boy a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, do so. Because we're uploading two to three times a week. Last week, I think I uploaded once or twice, but it was because your boy was cranking. I was hunting. I was filming. But big shout out to Ducks Waterfowl. Without them, I could not be doing this every day. So all your support by purchasing something from Ducks, thank you. I so much greatly appreciate it. But we will see you on the next one, guys. Hope you all are hunting, getting after it, and having good luck. Peace.